Hey guys, this is Dave for Gamers on Games, and today we are going to be doing a different game. We're actually going to be doing uh, one that, if you are like me and you love X-Wing, but you cannot get uh, out to go play a match, uh, this game hopefully will scratch that itch. <clears throat> it's called Space Front. It is free to play. Uh, I'm playing it through Google. And let me reload it here. That's not a reflection on the game. This is actually just occasionally when I pop out of something, it messes up. I think it's my phone. So, um, what it is, is it is a turn-based multiplayer um, spaceship combat game. So, um, let me show you some of the ships here. You got the Falcon, the Cosmic Shark, and the Dragonfly, which are ones I have already unlocked. You have heavy fighters, like... Thunder Space and Grasshopper, and then you have attackers like Phoenix, which I'll be honest, I have, I just don't really use. Um, my current ship of choice is the Cosmic Shark, which is right here, and let me show you how this thing works. So, let's uh, see if we can find ourselves a match. Oh man, that was quick. Alright, here we go. So there's my teammates. Sort of like Steambirds, you kind of figure out where you want to go, and you move yourself in that direction. And they give you a timer. Now, at the beginning of the match, you can't use all your abilities, so you just kind of got to wait it out. Somebody's taking some time. I think I got. Him. I think I can start getting some hits on this next round. Should be behind him. There we go. Now on this game, you can actually run out of the edge, and it'll push you back in. Uh, he's not gonna do it. I thought he was gonna run for the edge. Nice thing is this one doesn't normally have a good turn radius, so I could do this and get myself a good turning. Also, you kind of just automatically shoot at any anything that's an enemy and in your arc. And you generally take the nearest one. Sadly, you can't really pull an element in this game, which I find a little bit unfortunate. But the obstacles actually move, as you can see, like that asteroid is rotating, which I think is a really cool dynamic of the game. There we go. Now he's got an area effect thing, which he's probably going to start triggering. No? Okay, I thought he would actually start doing that. There we go. Actually, let me use that that out of round thing to help turn myself around here. See, there's that autopilot. It's going to start pushing me back in. Now, I have two other abilities that you really haven't seen yet, which is... Uh, afterburner and flares. I don't know if flares are really going to help me. Yeah, it did. Okay. So what that did is it deploys flares, and instead of shooting you, he's more likely to shoot the flares. Saves you uh, from taking some damage. So it gives you guys an idea. Then there's little achievements and stuff that you can do that uh, get you more money and get you more prestige and allows you to switch up who you want to have as your icon. The actual icons don't really get you anything. But, you know, it's more, more bragging rights than anything else. Um, more achievement possibilities over here. Uh, let's show you guys another... Um, well, oops, I meant to hit ships instead of searching for battle, but... I don't know, is it going to let me... You cannot change while you're currently waiting for battle. Okay, so I'm locked in. I, it'll throw me into something. So you get to see this another, for another round. 
The nice thing is, is that no ship is like auto kill and or auto win. It's um, they all have their abilities. Even the the starter ship, which is the uh, uh, it's not the cosmic shark, the Falcon, is it's still actually a very potable ship, very uh, formidable. There we go. You can see why I like this ship so much. There we go. Which way is he going? So I think we'll try and cut up, head him off of the pass over here. There we go. Man, that was nice. Three kills. Alright, let's try switching ships so you guys can see something else. So let's go to the Falcon. And there's upgrades that you can earn and build to uh, improve your ship's ability. There we go. And let's go to the battle. Now, just because it's formidable doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to win this, but uh, hopefully I can prove it's prove it's worth to some degree. And the nice thing is I have Afterburner, Rapid Fire, and Flares. So I do have a pretty decent selection of, uh, of abilities. And there are critical hits like that. And what that does is that's going to make it so I can't really shoot anything. But what I can do is I can run a screen and take the, uh, take the damage for other people. So I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of that. Now you're gonna also see if you play when you, if you start playing this game, um, you will see people actually using the terrain to turn themselves around faster. They're willing to take the damage just to get the turn done and out of the way. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I get I get the logic of it. And there's him using flares to get away from me. I was hoping that was going to work out a little bit better. Yeah, you can see I could actually turn much tighter than uh, than this, the cosmic shark. Yeah, 
and I'm starting to ah there you go and sometimes terrain is just not your friend oops that almost went badly alright let me get the heck out of the way here Break, break off and uh, try and reposition. Or switch targets. Actually, that could work better. I'm not a huge fan of the joust, but sometimes you don't really have a choice. Yeah, he's going to come in deal with some of that. There we go. And that'll get the job done. As you can see, formidable ship, even if it is a starter. Alright guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this, and uh, we will see you guys on our next episode. So, stay safe, stay well, and, uh, you know, wear your masks. Dave, out.